Okay, this how-to video is going to describe a feature in Allegro PCB Designer called Dynamic Phase. Um, and what this is, is, um, is, a, is a DRC method when we're routing a differential pair to start to, to, to sort out the mismatch that happens when we route um, a differential pair um, across the board and obviously we start to change angles or direction using 45 degrees. If we were to look at this, um, this PDF example, um, there's, there's currently a couple of checks. There's a static phase tolerance which would would look at the start of the differential pair and the end of the differential pair and it's almost like a one-time check that looks at the overall length whereas the, the dynamic phase would look at effectively a start point and it would measure along to a certain point um, and as we get to this this kind of 45 degree the the inner trace is shorter than the outer trace so we can put in a, a length and a tolerance to start to to measure this mismatch because obviously from a high speed signal point of view we want to make sure that these these traces are running um, as close to a length matching all the way through the trace, not just kind of at a start and end point. So what we can do is inside Constraint Manager, we now have a, a, a dynamic phase. Uh, so we have a maximum length and a tolerance value under the differential pair worksheet. And then we'll get these little pointers, this, this yellow DRC, and we'll get kind of a DRC pointer crosshair to where the, the, the trace goes out of phase as we go along. So we could try and correct this by just sliding this out, removing some of these 45 degree segments. What we could do is just add some phase bumps. So if we go to the root and phase tune, um, we'll just specify a couple of phase bumps or a length. Um, I can just click a, a few phase bumps in here. You'll see the DRC disappears and I'm now meeting the constraint all the way along my differential pair. If we go to constraint manager, just to confirm that you can see the DRC mode is getting met. We've got a green traffic light in Constraint Manager.